Hi everyone, Ms. Schlarman here, and today we're gonna to talk about macrame. Macrame is the art of tying knots. And here we have a four square knot bracelet with a bead and a toggle clasp. So this kind of task, clasp is there so that you can take your bracelet on and off. All right, so the supplies we're gonna to need today are yarn or some sort of string, scissors, a modified paper clip to help us hook it and pull it through, a measuring tool, and possibly decorative beads. You don't have to put the bead in, but I kind of think it makes it look cool. I am choosing brown and pink yarn. Now, to come up and measure their wrist, okay, you can take a piece of yarn, and then you want to measure it, and my wrist is roughly seven inches. Most people are either six, seven, or eight, somewhere in between there. For every inch that your wrist is, you're going to need a foot of the string. So what I have here is I have already cut two pieces of string, one pink, one brown, and it's measured out at seven feet. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle of the string. So I'm gonna take these two, all the two edges, so now there's four, right? And then I take it and I pull, 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 pull. And then now this is the middle, okay? So here's the edges, it's all doubled up. This is the middle. Once you have the middle of the yarn, you're going to create a loop, okay? That's, that's where that, you can see where it's created a loop and that's what toggles it in and holds it. So what I'm gonna do is I take this, because that's the middle, and it's like tying a water balloon. I'm gonna wrap it around my finger, and then I'm gonna tie it on itself. Okay, so this gets wrapped around, and then the loop goes through, just like that. This is how some people tie uh, garbage bags. Sometimes uh, people do this to their t-shirts to kind of cinch it up. Or my favorite one is, it's like a water balloon tie. Okay, so all you're doing is like you wrap it and tuck it. So it's wrapped and it's tied on itself. That automatically gives us the loop for our closure to take it on and off with. So once that's tight, we're done with our ruler. We don't need that in the picture anymore. It's done with the scissors. We'll clear that out. Here's the example, what we're gonna make it look like. And then we're going to secure it down. So you're gonna use some masking tape. Some people use a clipboard and they just clip it on a clipboard. Some people use a pen and they pin it to, uh, to a cloth of some sort. I'm just gonna use masking tape and pin it down to the desk, okay? Then I'm gonna separate it and I'm gonna do two on the middle. So I need a brown and a pink in the middle and a brown and a pink on the outside. Then I'm gonna take another piece of masking tape and I'm going to secure it down here. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to so that you can catch up with it. So I have a pink and I have a brown and then I have the two in the middle. What you're going to do is basically trap the middle with these knots. You need to figure out which one you want to start with. So if I start with the brown, it will be in the middle. If I start with the pink, the pink will be in the middle. So think about what color you want where. I want the pink to be in the middle and the brown on the outside. So I'm going to start with the pink. So what I do is I'm going to take the pink, okay? and I'm just gonna basically put it over. Okay, it kind of looks like a four. Then this one is gonna go over, so it goes over here, and then you're gonna pick this up, and it's gonna go under, okay, and through. So it kind of looks like this. Now, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna go up with it. Now notice that my pink string is now on this side. So I'm always starting with the pink. 
So I go first, I make that. Now my four is backwards, okay? Then I'm gonna take the brown and it's gonna go over. And then I lift up and it's gonna go under everything, okay? Under, and then it's gonna go through that hole of the pink. Then I'm gonna pull it up. Now you have to kind of be gentle when you pull up. You don't want it to get all sloppy. Notice my pink is now on this side. So I'm gonna take it, make that four shape, okay? And then this brown goes over the tail of the pink there. And then it's gonna go under everything, okay? And then through, through the whole of the four shape, okay? And then once it's through there, pull the two edges, gather it up, and you can start to see where the knots are coming in. So now the pink's on the other side. I'm gonna make that four shape. I'm gonna go over. Then I'm gonna go under everything, right? And then you have to watch, it has to go out of the pink. And then you pull it and push it up. I'm gonna continue to do that. So the pink's on the other side. Then I go over that. Then this one is going under everything, but it goes through that hole. It has to go through that hole right there. And then you push it up. So make that loop. Maybe it looks like a P, depends. Then you go over, then you go under, then you go through, because that one's, let's lean this up here so you can kind of see the knot a little bit better. So here it is. There's where you're making the ties. So it creates that, that loop. So you can see, and then as you pull it closer, it's trapped in there and it's just trapped on this one going down. All right, so make the loop, go over, go under and through, and then up. Make the loop, then you go over, and then you go under, and then you go through and you pull it up. So you can even say this to yourself. Oops, oh, did you see that? I almost started to make the loop with the brown. Always make your loop with the same color. So I chose pink. Then I'm gonna go over, then I'm gonna go under, and I'm gonna pull it up. Let's say you wanna use all the same color. If you're going to use all the same color thread, I would suggest putting at the end of it a piece of tape or something to signify which string you are going to be working with first. So I'm gonna, I'm always working with the pink, so I put the tape on the pink. I make the loop, I go over, go under, and then through. So it has to go through that pink hole there. And then I pull it up. Notice how I don't just keep pulling, pulling. I like pick up, pull, pick up, pull. Okay. So then I have my pink, make the loop, go over, under, and through that hole. Then pull, pick up, pull, pick up, pull, pick up, and make it up there to where it's smooth. All right, so as you get better at this, you're going to get faster as well. And just take your time. It's gonna just be, Perseverance. You just got to keep chugging through, and the more you do, the better you get. And then you just kind of, kind of keep going, and your knots are going to look better and better the more consistent you are. Now, I just got a knot tied in here. You have to be kind of gentle. If you do get some knots, sometimes using a paper clip to pull it out is easier. So you might want to choose that. That's why I have this. The paper clip there is also for when I do my hook through the bead. All right, so I'm gonna talk about one more time. Make the loop with the same string and it goes back and forth, back and forth. Go over, go under, and then through, and then gently pull it up. All right, let's go fast motion until we get to the bead part. I'm back. 
back now and I've gotten to about halfway through. If you're not sure where halfway is, my wrist was seven and so three and a half. So that's pretty close to where I want to be. At this time, I am going to take off the bottom piece of tape and then I'm going to take these all together. So, and you don't have to put a bead on there, but I just think it kind of adds into it. That one's kind of pretty, I do like that one. Ooh, this one's kind of nice with the brown. Let's see, the hole looks like it might be a little clogged. Nope, I think it's good. Oh, I like the brown. Kind of goes with the brown and the pea. So you can find, oh, or maybe I should go with like a strong color, a yellow to change up. Okay, oh, here's another brown one I like. I like that one. Which one do I like best? Oh, I'm gonna go with that. At this time, I'm going to gather all the strings hook them into my paper clip, and that paper clip is gonna work like a needle, and I'm gonna thread it through, kinda of gentle. There we go. And pull the strings through. So I'm gonna set that aside. So now I have all of my strings through the bead. All right. Oh, I love it. I think it's super cute. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna notice that some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. These two are shorter because these are the ones I was making the knots with originally. And these two are longer because they were just the ones in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap them out. I'm going to take the short ones and they are gonna get taped down for the middle and I'm gonna take the long ones and they are going to be the ones that I start to do the strings with. So this is the long pink and this one is the long brown. And I might need to like kinda maneuver it just a little bit to make sure that it is secure. So just remember, pause and take your time if you need to or fast forward where you need to do that. Then I'm gonna tape down the two short ones. So these are the two short ones taped down. And I'm gonna do the same pattern. If you want the pink in the middle, you start with the pink. Could I switch it up? I could, but I wanna be consistent. All right, so I'm gonna make the loop. The brown has to go over. And then this goes under. And then through, has to go on top of that and then you pull it, so you pick it up, kind of maneuver it, pull it tight. Okay, the pink is now on this side, so I make a loop over, under, and through. Pull it up. All right, I'm gonna go to fast motion, since you guys have already mastered this skill. So you're gonna go make the loop, go under, through, and pull up. Fast motion. All right, so now I finished it up. What I'm gonna do is take the tape off of it, and then I have my loop side, and I have my strings. So what I need to do is finish it. I need to basically get this tied off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same knot that I did over here, that water balloon tie knot. And basically you're gonna turn it around, you just kind of wrap it, and then you tuck that through. Now did you notice how I kind of, um, I use this to like make that knot right there? But then I have to very carefully position that knot, so push it up, to just at the end. I don't want the knot way over here. I don't want the knot on my, where my, my square knots are. So I just wanna like secure it. It's also known as like a sailor's bracelet or a survival bracelet. Okay, so you're gonna take it here and um, pull it all the way down so that there is right at the end a knot. And I knotted all four of those strings there. And never cut your strings until you are absolutely sure and finished, because you can't put them back together if you cut it too short. 
and it makes it harder to tie things if you do do that. Oh, I love it, it's so pretty. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I'm going to make that toggle. Okay, so basically I'm gonna put all those through the loop and then I'm gonna tie another knot at that side. Okay, and then it goes big and it goes small as I put it on. So I'm gonna use my little trusty paper clip hook and this will help me. So I'm just gonna basically put all four of those right there. Oop, I missed one. There we go. And then I'm gonna go through these loops. Now you can just thread it with your fingers, but I like the paper clip, makes it a little easier for me. But you still have to be patient because it can get snagged up on stuff. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that through. So there I have it. My loop has gone through. Now I wanna make sure I have enough room to fit it over my wrist so I can take it on and off for like when I wash my hands or shower or something like that, doing dishes. Okay, so I have it in how big I need it to be to be slipped on, which would be like roughly right about there, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I pulled that out of the way so I can do it, and I'm going to create that water balloon knot tie again. So let's watch how I did that. You basically, you wrap around and then you tuck it through, okay? That's just that water balloon tie or the t-shirt tie up or lots of different names for it. Basically, it's a knot. Some people try their trash bags like that. So you just take it and tie it on itself so it creates that knot so that now it'll get caught instead of falling off. At this time, once I've got that knot there, and it's secure, now I can trim. So I'm just gonna trim right like that. There it is. So then, here's, I can make it big. Got it all twisted here a little bit. So I'm gonna untwist it. Okay, and I can put it on. Be a hand model right now, right? And then you take that and you pull it tight. And then sometimes you can just kind of like wrap that around so it doesn't fling around. And there I have my beautiful macrame bracelets. All right, I can't wait to see, look, I can wear multiple of them. Oh, look how cute that is. Just tighten it up, wrap it around. Okay, remember, pause the video, go back to wherever you need to see it and so forth. The thickness of your string kind of changes how thick it's going to be and how well you tie it. You can use anything. You could do this with shoelaces. You can use it with parachute cord. You can use twine, um, pretty much any kind of thread. You can use embroidery thread. Okay, I can't wait to see your work. Bye.